Hey guys, this paper that just came out, International Journal of Sports PT, talks about some clinical tests that we can utilize to diagnose a slap tear. So this one paper talked about three tests that they like that showed the highest rate of diagnosis of slap tear versus an MRI. And they're actually tests that I use, so it's good to see that it kind of matches my clinical practice. The first one is an O'Brien's test. So it's coming down into horizontal adduction um, in, in fully internally rotated position and then resisting the motion up to the ceiling. So push, 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 push. Good. If they feel pain, then we turn them into fully supinated position and then resist the motion as well. So push, 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 push. If no pain, that's a positive O'Brien test for a slap tear. So again, pain, no pain, positive test for a slap lesion. Let's, uh, let's go on your back and put your head down here. And the paper also talks about biceps load test. So biceps load one test is putting the patient at 90 degrees of shoulder abduction. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Elbow flexed to 90 degrees in a supinated forearm and then resisted the bicep, resisting the bicep. So push, 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 good. Pain would be a positive test. Biceps load two test is gonna be up at 120 degrees of abduction. And again, uh, resist the biceps, push, 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 don't let me move you. They talk about those three tests, if they are clinically positive, that's the best way to diagnose a slap tear, which I thought was interesting. I'm gonna put a little spin on it. I tend to use a pronated load test. This test was kind of, was utilized later on after the biceps load test, because the theory was putting the biceps on stretch by putting the forearm in a pronated position, right? So we know the biceps supinates, so by putting it in a pronated position, in theory, it's a little bit more on stretch. And again, now we'll resist elbow flexion and see if we can elicit pain in the shoulder joint. So those are three tests or four tests if you use my, the pronated load test that, uh, that we utilize here at Champion and we first kind of learned about it with uh, Kevin Wilk in Birmingham uh, to, to utilize to try to diagnose a slap lesion in the shoulder joint. So check that paper out, International Journal of Sports PT, just came out from Tennessee and uh, let's talk about it a little further on social media. Thanks guys.